that's multiple of 23 so that's 23 x okay now 22 factorial I want 17 factorial so 22 into 21 into 20 into 19 into 18 into 17 factorial plus 1 that is multiple of 23 okay now further it can be reduced we can take out as many 23s uh, uh, as we can so it's a uh, minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 so basically it's 5 factorial so that's 120 minus 120 precisely so further 23 into 5 is 115 so further 115 can be taken out so it will be minus 5 so it's minus 5 into 17 factorial plus 1 so that is also multiple of 23 now uh, 23 twos are 46 that is and 5 nines are 45 that is one less than a multiple of 23 so i multi i can multiply this side by uh, this number by 9 so if this number is multiple of 23 9 times this number will definitely multi multiple of 23 so it's minus uh, 5 into 9 so it's minus 45 into 17 factorial plus 9 okay so further 45 is basically minus 1 from 23 is multiple so that minus 1 into this so precisely it will be 1 only okay so 17 factorial plus 9 is multiple of 23 you can change the variable but uh, if you wish so 17 factorial plus 9 is multiple of 23 so 17 factorial is basically multiple of 23 minus 9 okay now 17 factorial when divided by 23 we have to find out the remainder 17 factorial can be written in this form okay multiple of 23 minus 9 so if I divide this expression by 23 I get the remainder as minus 9 okay so if the remainder is negative what you can do is you can uh, subtract the remainder from divisor so 23 minus 9 So 14 will be the remainder if 17 factorial is divided by 23. I hope you are clear. Let's take the next one. What is the remainder of 149 factorial when divided by 139? Now that's pretty simple question. You don't even need your paper and pen. See 139 is a prime number. That's okay. But if you expand 149 factorial, what you will get? 1 into 2 into 3 till 139, 140 into 141 till 149 you will get, right? And 139 is basically a part of 149 factorial, okay? 1 into 2 into 3 till 139 into 140 then 149 okay so this is basically 149 factorial and if you have to divide it by 139 there is already a 139 over here right so basically this number is multiple of 139 so if this number is mul multiple of 139 definitely you will get the remainder as 0 okay now so no need to calculate now uh, we have this question that is a combination of two theorems that is Fermi's theorem and uh, Wilson's theorem so basically there are two parts 20 factorial and 20 raised to 23 so 20 factorial plus 20 raised to 23 is divided by 23 what is the remainder okay so see uh, dear friends this part is basically I'm sorry this part is basically solved by Wilson's theorem and this part by Fermat's theorem so according to Fermat's theorem though Fermat's theorem I have already taken good number of examples Fermat's theorem and Euler's method both the uh, methods or theorems I have already taken if you have not watched that video please do watch uh, most uh, most of the concepts related to remainder problems will be cleared if you go through um, these sessions so Fermat's theorem if P is a prime number and A is any number prime to P then A raised to P minus 1 minus 1 is divisible by P so here we have the prime number as 23 and a 20 is prime to P so basically 20 raised to 22 minus 1 is multiple of 23 okay p is 23 over here and 20 is prime to p 20 and 23 they are co prime to each other so 20 raised to 22 minus 1 is 23 
multiple of 23. So 20 raised to 22 is equal to 23x plus 1. That means if 20 raised to 22 is divided by 23, the remainder will be 1. Listen to me carefully. If this expression, this expression is nothing but this. So if this is divided by 23, what will be the remainder? That is 1 only. Right? So 20 raised to 22 when divided by 23, remainder is 1. Okay. So here what we are getting basically it is 20 raised to 23, not 22 but 23. So I just can take it, write down it like this. Okay. So over here the remainder is 1 and uh, still we are left with 20. So final remainder will be 1 into 20 that is 20. So over here the remainder is 20. Now for this we need to apply Wilson's theorem. So we found out this remainder, we will be finding out this remainder, then we will be adding both of them to get the final remainder. Okay. Now 22 factorial plus 1 is divisible by 23. Okay, so 22 factorial plus 1, that is Wilson's theorem. 22 factorial plus 1 is 23x. So, 22 into 21 into 20 factorial plus 1. Still, it is multiple of 23. So, further uh, from 23, it is minus 1, it is minus 2. So, it's 2 into 20 factorial plus 1, that is also multiple of 23. Now I have number 12, 12 twos are 24, that is 1 plus from 23. So I have ex uh, this expression, when multiplied by 12, still the number will be multiple of 23. So it's 24 into 20 factorial plus 12. So further we uh, take out 23, so it's 1 into 20 factorial plus 12, that is multiple of 23. So 20 factorial basically 23x minus 12. Okay, so when 20 factorial is divided by 23, 20 factorial is basically this. So if, they were, if, if this is divided by 23, the remainder will be minus 12, right? So we have remainder minus 12 over here and we have remainder 20 over here. So the final remainder will be minus 12 plus 20. So that is 20 minus 12, 8. Okay. And you can go other way also. See, if you are getting a negative remainder, you can deduct this from the divisor. So divisor here is 23. So 23 minus 12, the remainder will be 9. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, 11. So 11 plus 20. 11 plus 20, that, in that case, that will be positive remainder. So 11 plus 20, that is 31. 31 when divided by 23, remainder will be 8. So you can go either way. Right? Since 20 was bigger number, so I thought let it be negative because finally they will be settled out. So in this case, your answer is 8. So that is the combination, a beautiful combination of two theorems, that is Fermat's theorem and uh, Wilson's theorem. So many students have sent doubts, uh, still they are sending doubts based on Fermat's theorem. So that's pretty easy. Uh, friends, just, just note down the theorem. And whenever you see prime number and uh, an uh, other number that is co-prime to this uh, prime number, you can um, think of using Fermat's theorem.